Hello, Jonathan here, Prince of the Interwebs, and Gabe is here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The interwebs is awake. Yep, he's also awake. And we are extremely grumpy because what time is it? 6.53 a.m. A.K.A. too early. A.K.A. the idiots who decided that school should start at 8 a.m. or violate the Geneva Convention and could be sued in a court of law. I don't know if this is true or not, but I hope it is. So we are currently at Barry UCAM aka hell and um as evident in the vlog right now people in this city are not very good at urban planning nope not their forte oh my god i just woke up it's two what the fuck update my face area has less hair actually it has the same amount of hair it just has slightly less long hair because I never clean shave because that shit is weird. No, it's not weird. I just don't like that because then I look like an infant. A really big infant. Anyway, um, where am I going with this? Um, I just filmed a thing because Beyonce dropped another album. So I filmed a funny uh, thought process of Beyonce from the AMAs to now. What prompted the album drop? Oh boy, it's really stupid. Oh, I'm so much tired. Anyway, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna be making food, um, but I'm also gonna be shooting for the cookbook. Yay, fun. Okay. I'm now making pudding chômeur for the cookbook, which is kind of funny. Why would you call it pudding chômeur if it's kind of expensive to buy maple syrup? How are the unemployed, that's what a chômeur is, how are unemployed people supposed to afford this maple syrup when it's expensive? Also, why are the unemployed people buying maple syrup? That is a terrible waste of money. Well, that's debatable, but <laughs> um, I don't get it. The name makes no sense. Maybe at one point maple syrup was like really cheap. But as far as I'm concerned, pudding is cheaper than maple syrup. So the name makes no sense. Maybe the name implies that people who don't have jobs are irresponsible with their, mom with their money. In which case, that's extremely cynical and generalizing person who made the name Pudding Chômeur. But that's probably not what they were thinking. Okay, I'm finished supper, which consists of the Pudding Chômeur that I shot the recipe for. And, um, because that was kind of big and I was like, I have to get rid of this, otherwise it's going to be awful. Uh, It'd be, it'd be a sticky mess. Now it's a sticky mess in my belly. Um, anyway, so I got rid of that, and um, now I'm going to be playing some Minecraft. I should be doing some other things, but I'm going to be playing that because I feel like I need to relax. Take it easy. Uh, that's old. There's a reason why no one listens to that one anymore. Anyway, yeah. Um, there's a bunch of trucks outside. And I'd like to point out that it's 7... PM. So I was like, what? This is confusing. Why are there trucks outside um, at this hour? Why? What? Huh? How? But yeah, that happened. That was the thing. I'm probably gonna be closing my window because I'm like, I not really appreciating that. I had the window open because it was so damn hot in here. <laughs> it was really hot in here because for some reason the heaters were on and I can't turn them off. And I'm like, it's warm outside. Yeah, it's really hot today for some reason. I just did a really tiny cleanup of my apartment and already it looks much better. It's amazing how just doing small cleanups in little increments makes a huge difference. Like legitimately a huge difference. I gotta think if I just did that all the time then my apartment would always be clean. Like, it's not a big deal to, like, put away dishes before doing a thing or um, making my bed or putting away a couple, a little bit of laundry instead of going on Tumblr for a half hour. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> um, if you're not following me on Tumblr, just go to justeyeballit.com. Uh, that redirects to my, well, it's my website, but also my Tumblr, so you can follow it. And um, I try to keep it active and full of cool stuff. People say they like it, so I'm going to keep doing that.
Gabe is currently at his apartment, but he's going to be, <coughs> that would be him, <laughs> he's going to be coming over um, in a couple hours, he's doing homework and dishes at his apartment now, I should do dishes, but I don't have a roommate, <coughs> okay, okay Gabe, I get it, <laughs> I don't have a roommate who is going to be like, you didn't do your dishes, so it doesn't really make a difference for me, um, but I will do them, probably when Gabe gets here. But I want to play Minecraft first, um, because, yeah, I've just been wanting to play, I've been wanting to play Minecraft literally the entire month. Well, okay, no, I played once. I played once this month. That's ridiculous. Um, so now I'm going to play more, and uh, I want to publish a Minecraft video. I started a Minecraft channel, well, I mean, it was a gaming channel I started a while ago this summer, but I kind of didn't have time for, but anyway, I started it again. I said, I'm going to be putting these out regularly, and then I didn't put them out regularly. And I feel bad about that. I, I shouldn't feel bad. I've been very busy. But yeah, that's happened. And I guess when I have a lot of things piled up that I want to do, my impulse is to try to cut other things. But really, that's not the way that you should go about doing things. And a lot of governments work this way, too. They're like, we need more money. What programs can we cut? Except... This is a terrible way to think. And a person that really inspires me to think differently is Hank Green, actually, because he's doing a bajillion different things. And he manages to do them at a high rate of quality, in my opinion. So I'm like, okay, if he can do it, so can I. So the question isn't so much, do I have time for it? It's, am I going to make time for it? And can I be disciplined enough not to do other stupid things? <laughs> Tumblr um, instead. Actually, Tumblr, and the problem also is that Tumblr is considered one of the things that I want to do. I told you guys that I have this great big list document of things that I want to accomplish. And one of them is involving Tumblr and other social media. So when I'm doing that, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a my goals. No, you're accomplishing one of your goals at the detriment of others. Just to say, balance is important, and I'm going to be playing Minecraft now because I have not had enough of that in my life. Also, quickly before I start playing, um, this channel now has 187 subscribers. There's a lot of new people. Hi, welcome to this thing. Um, I just wanted to basically say hi to you guys and I'm not sure who you are so if you can let me know in the comments below who you new people are and what you think of this channel that would be really cool okay I'm gonna actually play games now oh my god playing minecraft while you're recording is so slow I'm gonna show you guys well I can't show you guys because I stopped recording but it's like considerably faster now yay Gabe is here, Gabe is here, Gabe is here, Gabe yo, is yo, here. Yo, 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 yo. Yay. Had him off. What were you going to say? I have homework to do. Can Yay. I stop now? No, I want to rant about homework. Okay. Well, here, here you go. Homework is stupid. It's Especially if it's philosophy homework. Philosophy is stupid. And useless. I'm studying in graphic design. Why would I study in philosophy? No, don't talk. This is my rant. I hate philosophy so much. It's useless. It's my third philosophy class. So I made two classes before. Hey! I said don't talk. Quiet the neighbors. There may be some people watching this vlog who have degrees in philosophy. Well, if you have degrees in philosophy, I don't like you. And you should unfollow this vlog right now. Hey, you're gonna make us some subscribers. No, please don't. No, it's not my fault if you have shitty taste in life. <laughs> Philosophy homework is useless, and I hate it so much. I'm taking the vlog back. This is me right now. Okay. Can you read what is real written? Probably. Will it be? Will it be in the right way? Yeah. Yeah, it will be. This is me. I hate. Everything. And I'm a cute, cute fluff ball okay, too. I think we saw it. <laughs> <laughs>
the bus was full of people. <laughs> it's 9.45 in the evening. Yeah, that doesn't Why make sense. Why would it be full of people at 9.45 in the evening on was, a Monday? It was probably one of the weird <sighs> STM schedule changes. Okay, I've made this rant before in previous videos. The STM does this really stupid thing where, I mean, it makes sense that a bus at midnight won't be passing every 10 minutes. Whereas it'll be passing like every 10 minutes during the day when there's more people. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I agree. But what they'll do, sometimes they'll reduce it by like 20 minute intervals. So there'll be like no bus randomly for 20 minutes when people are used to getting one every 10 minutes. And they'll be like, what? Where's the bus? And it'll be really weird when they could be just like staggering it. So like you'd have a bus every 10 minutes, every 12 minutes, every... 14 minutes like and so on until you get to your desired intervals and you do it gradually which makes so much more sense instead of just people waiting for the bus for the next 20 minutes and then just packing everyone who was waiting in the bus when it does come 20 minutes later well one issue i have 100 is that... people doesn't fit inside a bus but they do try to fit it inside a bus and it doesn't work well maybe the mm. 100 people do fit i don't know but Anyway, the STM tries to do this thing where they um, have like 10 minute or less buses where in like between a certain time and a certain time, that's how their schedule, their daytime schedule works. And it's just like, no, why are you doing that? I bet the STM people are the kind of people who like philosophy. Maybe, but... The there are evil people. The point is, there's a lot of optimizations that could be made on the bus routes that would save the STM money and make traveling easier for people. Cause there's a lot of buses that just don't have people. And then there's a lot of times where they need more buses and there's no buses. So like clearly there's issues. And the, when the, and when there are buses that could actually get people, they are obviously in transit. And instead of getting people to where they are going, they just stay empty and for whatever reason. I think it would be a cool idea, but it would also be really controversial, is if everybody... Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Trying to vlog how I ate everything. Okay, if the STM had some sort of... If they integrated their Opus cards in our cell phones and had it set up so that for like a month or whatever, everybody agrees to have their travel habits tracked by the STM. And the information is just for the SDM so they can make better transit. And then they do this for like a month every year just for the purposes what, of making the bus system better. What they should do too is reserve the seats for people with bags or huge stuff. Oh yeah, instead that, of, yeah, getting, already young, about instead that. of getting young teenagers who have nothing in their hands sitting down and keeping the old people who have canes from sitting... That's really stupid. Yeah, no. Or young students with portfolios that weigh like three pa three tons. You know, I've ranted about this. One time I was on the bus with like six bags and when I see this idiot sitting down who are, are carrying nothing and they're like sitting there for the entire way. And I'm just like, meanwhile, people are like tripping over my bags and like this, these people are just obliviously there. I'm like, okay, you're... They're not anyway. oblivious. They're just stupid and selfish rant over we have found a terrible imposter we don't know who it is but we have found it this is the actual boyfriend tag this is the boyfriend tag let's go over here what one dislike on the actual boyfriend tag i bet you are the same person who reported the twitter account for gabe and made it suspended <sighs> you are probably someone who likes philosophy too you are that just liking a boyfriend tag is homophobic and prove that you like philosophy because that means you're a dumb and stupid person you're not allowed to come into canada uh okay brianna said that she used to watch pokemon as a little child growing up and she doesn't anymore though look we're commenting on comments can you tell um <laughs> and i was just about to say hey you didn't see the introduction to this um i haven't actually watched pokemon in a while i just want to <laughs> Yeah, me neither. I haven't actually watched Pokemon. I tried watching Pokemon two years ago, and I fell asleep during the first episode. I uh, saw clips of it lately, and I'm just, I'm just like, I like this. This is funny. <laughs> it's not as good as in 
my childhood. Oh yeah, no, it's better as a kid, but you look even at... when I was a child, I didn't really like Pokemon. Oh, I, I loved I, it I as only a kid. Liked it because everyone else liked it. I actually I was more of a fan like of Card Card Capture Sakura. I actually love Pokemon. Like I had the Pokemon guide book and everything. Oh. I would like I draw I, I, I had it I had it too. I, everybody had it. Just because I wanted to be popular too. Yes. yes. Well I didn't care about that. I just wanted to draw all the Pokemon <laughs> and I wanted it for like playing Pokemon games. So I actually could... started liking Pokemon like three years ago. Like, actually being in the fan base because well, of the games. I would say that I got back into it about two years ago. Hmm. But like before then, I was just like, I don't have good internet. Ah, help. Everything sucks. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, Bert's favorite anime. Um, um, I really liked... Wait. When I just started watching... I don't know what that is. Nemozine. I, I heard of the title. What is it? It's, it's Is it like Daughters of Nemozine or something? I think it is. I don't know. What? Shonen on Myoji. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what these things are. Though I'm now really looking forward to Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Titan. You've probably heard of it. Oh, yes. I know nothing about it, but I've heard the name. It's really, really popular. But the second season is coming out in two years. so That's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since this, the second, the first season doesn't really... Well, it's, it's really good. You should watch it, Bert. But the story ends in a cliffhanger. And so if you they, don't, they didn't do anything in the first season. It's like, oh, we have to achieve this goal. So if you don't like cliffhangers, then but, um, it's, don't, it's, it's not a spoiler. But cliff diving. It's not a spoiler. But I like at episode six out of twenty six episodes, they say, oh, we have this goal. You have to achieve, and then they try to achieve that goal until the end of the season, and the season ends, and they even even ha, it didn't, didn't even get to half. The way to the goal. I think that's a spoiler. No, it's not a spoiler. Oh, okay. Anyway, it, it's just to say that the well, the series is really good, but it doesn't really make any progress, and it's not worth watching it. Also, you said you're following for now because I, I don't, the second season will be. Okay. I don't know what Mushishi is. I wanted to watch Mushishi because I watched Natsume Yujin Show a while ago, which is kind of the same thing. It's episodic things about cute spirits and stuff. My cousin said it's really good, so you should watch it. I know, I know what Legend of Korra is. I know that it's, it's not really an anime though, but I want to watch that too. He's already watching those, you know. I, I need to get. I need to watch Avatar: and Legend of Korra. I heard it's really good. I would like to watch that one too. We should yes. after we watch everything we have to watch. Yeah, no. After we watch, uh, right now we're watching. Psychopaths. Um, until we get to the end of what's happening now, um, because it's currently ongoing. And um, when that's done, we're gonna be watching. I want us to watch Parks and Rec if we can find it. I I found it. It's on US Netflix. Oh, okay. Which I have now. How? <laughs> oh, I'll show you guys this. This is relevant. Okay, no, I'll tell you guys about that tomorrow because it's too long. Today's video is too long. Anyway, I talked a lot about anime. Sorry, I'm a huge geek. So am I, but about different things. Anyway, we are going, and some of the same things. Anyway, we're going to be uh, watching the second season of Psycho Pass. So, good night. Sorry for my earlier rant. It's just that I He's really, 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 really hate philosophy. And well, it's not that I hate philosophy. Transit. Now, let's, before he it, starts it, it's on It's not that I hate philosophy. I just hate homework that yeah. doesn't make sense and that aren't useful to me. Now, before he gets on another rant, how about you guys get on a rant in the comments below about something that's been frustrating you? Like useless homework. And then get on a rant about something that's been frustrating you in a good way. Like someone who is so damn nice that it pisses you off. <laughs> or useless homeworks. Okay. I'm Bye. a graphic design student. I should I should make philosophy assignments. That doesn't make okay, sense. Okay, we have to go. The vlog is too long. <sighs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>